Hi there and welcome to the Underground. In this video I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on both a Mark 1 response gateway and a Mark 2 response gateway. Before we get started, I already have my gateways configured on the right IP range. If you don't have this, then please check out our video on how to configure a NetFree gateway using NetFree Concert. So let's get started. OK, so here I am at my desktop, and the first thing I'm going to do is double-click on Updaterator. In this video, I'm using Updaterator 6.0. You always want to make sure you're using the latest version of Updaterator, just so you can make sure you're getting the best compatibility. Note that later versions may be available at the time of watching this video. OK, so when I open up Datarator, I get this little dialog box that's asking me which network interface I want to use. In this case, I'm using my interface on the 10.101 range, which I've named NetFree. So I'm going to select this and click OK. So here in Updaterator, you can see that we've already discovered both the gateways that I have online. Before we do anything else, we just want to double check that we've got the latest version of firmwares available on our PC. So, so to start that, I'm going to go into Setup Versions and click Download All Latest Firmware. This might take a few minutes depending on your internet connection. OK, so now we've got the latest firmwares downloaded, you can see that both of our software versions on the gateways already both are older than what is available. This is indicated by the upward facing arrow. If this was an equal sign here we would see that we, we are already running the latest version of software. So to start with I'm going to update my Mark II gateway. To do this I'm going to select it and then click update. At this point, the gateway will start receiving the code from the Updaterator software. OK, so now we've updated our Mark II gateway. Let's do the Mark I. Now the process is exactly the same. This time I'm going to check the Mark I gateway and I'm going to press Update. And now we can see the gateway will start the process of updating. It is important to note that for the Mark 1 gateways, this process is a little bit longer. As you can see here, both of our gateways are now running the latest version of firmware and we're ready to go. If you have any questions, please do get in contact with your local ETC dealer or support centre. Thank you very much for watching this video.